Hello, this is Andy from the Engineers Academy and in this video series we're going to be looking at worked solutions to the Unit 1 Engineering Principles exam which will be sat by students studying BTEC Level 3 Nationals in Engineering. Now the document that we're going to be referring to today are the sample assessment materials that are or have previously been provided on the Edexcel website and the document that we're going to be referring to in particular is Issue 1 of the sample assessment materials. Question 7 gives the following scenario. A dam is being built to retain water on the River Severn. The retaining wall for a dam is 10 metres high and 5 metres wide. Assume the density of water is 1,000 kilograms per metre cubed. It gives the height of water as 10 metres on the diagram and the question asks us to calculate the hydrostatic thrust on the dam. Now all we need to do to solve this question is determine the pressure at the midpoint of the fluid depth or at a depth of 5 metres and we need to multiply that by the area of the dam that's in contact with the fluid because we know that force is pressure times area. Now the question specifies that the height of the dam is 10 metres and it also tells us that it's 5 metres wide or 5 metres into the page so what we would have is we would have a dam that's 10 metres high but going back into the page 5 metres, like so. And we can use that to determine the area that's in contact with the fluid. Now the pressure that we're going to use needs to be the pressure at a depth of 5 metres. So what we can write over here is that x equals 5 metres. Now the reason we take the pressure at the midpoint is because the pressure at the free surface or the top of the fluid here is going to be zero and the pressure at the bottom is going to be much larger. What we actually need is the average pressure and the average pressure is going to be at the centre or at five metres. So let's rewrite this, we've got force equals pressure times area but pressure or hydrostatic pressure is rho g times the height of fluid. So here we're going to have force equals pressure which is rho times gravity times the height of fluid but the height of fluid we're using is the height x and we're going to multiply that by our area. So the force or the hydrostatic thrust force is the density of a thousand times gravity which is 9.81 times the distance from the free surface to the center which is 5 meters and then times our area which is our height of 10 times our width of 5. Now running that all through the calculators gives us a force equal to 2,452,500 newtons. Now we can express that much more neatly in mega newtons mega being 10 to the 6 so what we need to do is take our decimal back six places and we'll get a force equal to let's go for 2.453 mega newtons to three decimal places the important thing to remember here is that we need to take the average pressure which occurs at a depth of 5 meters not at the full depth of 10 meters therefore the height that we used was five meters.